Hello there. Welcome to Granny Rocks Our World. Uh, tonight I am going to be talking about what can you do when you don't see the way forward. And the reason I'm talking about that is because I'm in that situation and it's really <laughs> getting to me. And, uh, you know, I have no patience whatsoever. And, uh, you know, so I don't like it. So I'm going to do this show to make myself feel better because I assume that I'll say something wise at some point that will help me. I'm sure you'll be guided. It'll help you too. Okay, so before we get on to the show, hello, Erica. Uh, sweet baby James, would you like to introduce us? Yes, welcome to Granny Rocks Our World, which airs every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific, where we have the opportunity to hear the wit, the wisdom, and the uncommon sense of Granny, otherwise known as Beth Green. Wonderful. You think you could move over just a smidge so I can get in the picture? Oh, with yeah. That Let's get you in the picture. Let's get me in. I, that's the whole point here. <laughs> I, need, I need to get in the picture here. Yeah. So See, that, that's uh, symbolic of the show's theme. Okay. Amy says, I can understand having no patience, sending you both lots of love. Wonderful. Thank you. So I'm in a situation right now where there is a, a challenge, you know, something that needs to be resolved. And there is no clear way forward. So I could either let it be, let it be, <laughs> let it be. But do I? Yeah. I am like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Now, I want to point out to you that I don't have to resolve this right now. This is not like... Oh, my God, my daughter is running 107 fever. I have to decide right now what to do. Uh, I take her to the hospital or throw her into a, a bathtub of ice cubes, right? <laughs> Not like that. First of all, yes, it would be nice to resolve it soon. Yes, it would be really nice to resolve it by March 5th. But even that, I don't have to resolve it by March 5th. And so I found a solution that I thought was like, oh, my God, here's the solution. And then I discovered that the, the thing that I needed, the product that I needed, uh, is not being made yet, but it's going to be made or in the process of making it. And uh, and maybe sometime this spring they're going to take orders and they're hoping that you don't have to wait six months. Six months? And they're hoping that you make an order without trying it out. Well, that's true. Well, I can't wait six months even if I can. I mean, <laughs> the fact is I won't have the money for it for at least six months anyway. But no, if you if if you were just going by how I felt on the inside, you would think that the building was burning. Now, I had a, a message from the inner voice years ago which said, when in doubt, don't. So since I haven't been able to figure out the right solution to this, obviously I'm in doubt. So the answer is don't, right? Right. So am I okay with that? Are you? No. So why is that? Well, I don't like not resolving things. It's not in my nature to allow for things not to be resolved. So how do you deal with the situation? Well, first of all, I get an upset stomach. <laughs> <laughs> That's so what do you do to deal with the situation? I get an upset stomach. And, uh, you know, then I try to distract myself by doing grow or helping somebody, you know, doing a counseling session, doing something valuable that will take my mind off it. But what happens is that I, I don't know if you do this. See, and I'm asking you to be looking at yourself and asking yourself if you're like me or you're much better than I am. And then, oh, hello. Well, I'm the opposite. I can procrastinate with the best of them. Well, that's true. Isn't that interesting? So there is Elizabeth saying hi to Granny and SBJ, which would be you. So, yeah. So some people actually do. They Their solution to everything is they feel paralyzed, so they procrastinate. Others of us feel paralyzed, and then we rush ahead where angels fear to mm -hmm. tread. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, why is that? Well, the first thing, of course, is that being uncertain. And, you know, what the topic today is what do you do when you don't see the way forward? If I know the way forward, guys, out of the way, I'm going. Yeah. I don't care how tough it is. At least, you know, give me my marching orders. Full speed ahead. Oh, 
Hi, Luann says hi from Lincoln City, Oregon. Hello there. Welcome, Lincoln City. <laughs> you guys are somewhere on the coast. So I am able to mobilize myself for action. I am not even familiar with the concept of mobilizing myself for waiting. Now, supposing, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I need to. I think it's a lot easier, personally. To mobilize yourself for waiting? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Now, how do you. Oh, well, it's how, very low impact mobilization. <laughs> <laughs> but but how do you how do you deal with the anxiety that you have about getting it done? You know, having a resolution, fixing the problem, changing the planet. I, I assume that the timing isn't right. You do not, please. You're making yourself sound so incredibly enlightened. We know that can't be true. Nah. No, but you. So when you get, you when you don't know what to do. You feel paralyzed because you're afraid you're going to make a mistake. Yeah, that's in there. Right? Now, when I don't know what to do, I feel anxious because I feel like I need to do something to fix the problem. Mm. Okay? Mm-hmm. But if there's no way forward, then it's better not to do more harm than good. Oh, I agree with you. But then I have to put my energy into stopping myself from... Uh, chewing my cud, mm -hmm. uh, tearing my hair out, and all of that. Dealing stuff. with the feelings. And dealing with the feeling. So, what is that feeling? Well, we're very familiar with the feeling. Uh, Erica said, No esoteric waiting for me either. I love that. Thank you, Erica. I have a pal here, another neurotic one, who, uh, uh, <laughs> well, actually, she's saying she's not a waiter, but we, we don't know about a waitress, maybe. So, anyway, um, so the first thing, of course, that's always behind the anxiety is fear. So then we have to ask ourselves, what is the fear of what might happen if I can't resolve this? Mm -hmm. So what I'd like you guys to do is let's really make this, you know, uh, you know, participatory. Uh, I know a lot of you are out dancing tonight, but those of you who aren't, uh, why don't you put down something in the comment section? some area where you feel you don't really know how to move forward it could be something serious like should i leave my husband mm. yeah or it could be some that actually would be no <laughs> <laughs> you know um we have On that one i didn't procrastinate that's right self-interest so let's get some comments here from people who are facing something where they don't see a way forward, and they're struggling with their feelings about it. Uh, so what is the fear if I don't see the, see the way forward? Well, that the problem isn't going to get solved. And so if the problem doesn't get solved, mm -hmm. then what? Oh, then there's going to be some pain or some consequence that I don't like, or someone is going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, popular language doesn't help. On the one hand, we are told that a stitch in time saves nine, mm. and uh, that he who hesitates is lost, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And then the other one, you know, what's the other one? That's just the opposite. That says haste makes waste. Mm. Yeah. So obviously, all of our forebears have not been able to solve this problem either. Mm. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody's true confession. On the comment section, I wonder why. Okay, well, if you don't, then I'm going to just... Well, I'll just tell you that if I don't see a way forward, I just feel kind of lost and confused. So, that's a very good point. All right. So, are you... Okay, Amy says, what if I don't find a new housemate that will work at? So, are you... Well, but I assume you're looking for someone, but maybe it's too soon to look. So if it's too soon to look, then that's a very good example. So you're worrying about what might happen at some point in the future that isn't even resolvable yet. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But you just, you just said something, Elizabeth said, how to save for retirement when we can't make ends meet currently. <laughs> 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 well, that's easy. You don't. Uh, okay, James, you said something a minute ago that I thought was very helpful. About getting confused and lost? Yes. So the question is, is the panic that we're feeling, guys, 
the panic of not having the answer or is the panic the feeling of being about the feeling of being lost elizabeth said how to make ends meet on one income when we have high medical expenses mm -hmm. yes Amy, it would need to be in one month. Oh, and what Elizabeth said too. Okay, so now we have a little conversation going here. So what I'm asking is, if there is no answer in front of us, when in doubt, don't. You can't do anything. You have to go into the inquiry, mm -hmm. open yourself to the universe, mm -hmm. and ask the question, are... Um, is there something I can be doing now, Amy, to prepare myself to find the right roommate, for example, housemate? Mm -hmm. um, Elizabeth, you could be asking, is there something, oh, Ruan says, panic about not knowing how to fix the problem. You see, I think this is really the point. This is really the point, that we feel panicked about not knowing how to fix the problem, not even about the problem. We're so panicked about not being able to fix it that we can't even feel the panic that we have about the problem itself. Now, I know it feels like sometimes that it, it, it's, that it is the problem. But see, if you say, okay, if I wait 30 seconds about this, uh, is there going to be any catastrophe? Can I give this another day? Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, so first of all, we can prepare, like I was saying to Amy, we can start preparing. Is there something I need to be doing to prepare to be a better housemate myself? Or is there some way that I can learn how to live with the panic of not knowing how to fix the problem? Where, what is the genesis of that panic? What pro problems have I not known how to fix? And what were the devastating results of that that are making me panic now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now, let's say we've got the how are we going to live on this money when we have such big medical expenses? Well, one thing you can do is you can say, are all these expenses legitimate? Amy says you hit that right on the head, Granny. Thank you. Do I need to be spending all this money? If I absolutely need to be spending all this money on medical expenses, that's because if I don't, I believe that I am going to go downhill or I'm going to die, right? If I'm dead, I won't need a retirement, mm. right? No. <laughs> so who saves for retirement? Anyway, a lot of people don't have retirement. That's what Social Security is for. Do you have Social Security? Are you saving for retirement? Okay, I, I know you were also talking about living on one income. But if you have to make that expense now, you have to make it now. If the alternative is death or debilitation, then if you become debilitated, you will not be able to earn money in the future. So if you think about it logically, there are times when you say, yes, I must spend that money now because there are no choices. Are there any other expenses that I have that I really can postpone or eliminate and be ruthlessly honest about that mm -hmm. you know which are the life or death situations and which are we creating in our heads as being life and death situations do you really need to put the money away right now or do you need to work on the health issues so that you will have a future that you could worry about and going back to Amy can I worry about being a, a better housemate now so that these are things you can actually do there is nothing wrong with doing research or thinking about what you might do in the future. It's that obsessive need to fix the problem, which comes, as Luann said, out of the panic of feeling lost when we have no way forward. You know, I guess I'm not going to do a life force tonight because somehow or other getting this one point across has taken me this long. And... Uh, But here it is. So much of our anxiety, oh, Luann said, I must be creative and let go of the panic. I agree with you. Be creative in your life. Erica said, thoughtful examination instead of anxiety. What a concept. I'm very glad it feels like we are getting the message here. 
we need to do thoughtful examination and we cannot do that if we are panicking. We can't do it if we're panicking about the topic itself and we cannot do it if we're panicking about the fear of being lost. So let's all imagine ourselves in a dark tunnel right now and, uh, and we're just stumbling forward and we don't know where we're going. We don't know if we're going to fall into a big puddle or we're going to come out on the other side and there's going to be sunshine. So let's experience that dark tunnel together, shall we? Now uh, let's hold hands. I'm holding your hand, you're holding my hand, and we're going through the dark tunnel. Supposing I slip into the puddle, but you're secure. You can help me. Yes. Supposing you slip into the puddle, well, you'll bring me down. There's no way I can hold you up. <laughs> but you never can tell. I can help start stabilize you. Or I can make you feel better as you're going down. <laughs> you know, there is nothing like that. So, okay, the first thing that we're doing is thoughtful examination. We're letting go of the panic. We're acknowledging how much of the panic is just our creation, the creation of our minds, because we don't like to feel lost. Now we're going through this tunnel, and now suddenly it's a very crowded tunnel. Because guess what? Nobody else knows what they're doing either. Mm. One of the reasons that we panic is we think that there are simple answers that we don't have. Guess again. If you look around the tunnel, you're going to find that it's really crowded in here. <laughs> Humanity is in the tunnel to an unknown destination that may be nowhere. There are problems bigger than the little ones that I obsess about. Mm -hmm. Although to me, they are very important and I'm not poo-pooing them. But when you think about it, humanity doesn't see the way forward. And that's because we're so adapted to certain habitual behaviors that we can't look at the problems that we have and come up with any solutions. So I say when in doubt, don't, because maybe the universe is sort of cooking something up for us. Maybe the solution hasn't been invented yet, but it will at some other point. And maybe if I could just take a breath and do nothing, I could relax enough so that I can see that glimmer of light, which I am now seeing at the end of that dark tunnel. I do see a pin of light. I'm going for it. I hope you will too. Thanks for joining me for tonight's grow. Yeah, thanks everybody. Great participation. Thank you so much for making this such a fun show. And I'll see you Monday because we do this Mondays. Wednesdays and Fridays at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. S uh, give, send us your comments. Please like the show and pass it on. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye for now.